guys and welcome back today we're gonna be raiding fan builds in the discord server and uh it's realistic so i'm very excited every time i see realistic builds on roblox i'm just like hey those don't belong but they look so awesome <laughs> now when i say don't belong i don't mean like don't belong i just mean roblox really doesn't support them that well looks like the first build we have is a realistic city and man i still have a zero idea how i'm gonna make this city in the dream game so i love seeing stuff Stuff like this just as inspiration picture number one looking absolutely fire picture number two damn bro this is nuts i want to play the game i want to play the game see if you lag and if you don't i want to see how you did the buildings man i'm very very interested this looks fantastic though picture number three is the last picture and man dude that highway uh it looks good but strange i'm a little perplexed just by the road lines here like it's like I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Out of the three pictures, this is my least favorite. Oh, and the first two gotta be tied for favorite. This one's got some nice colors in it. And this one, I mean, bro, it's just a lot. Overall, I think I'm gonna have to rate this build a 9.5 out of 10. Based off the screenshots, would have been a 10 out of 10. But that last picture, the road just, it wasn't lighted up, bro. This thing looks incredible, though. Great job. Up next, we have a very cool Magnum this it looks really good the only thing i'm not a fan of is the stippling on the grip which it looks like pretty natural but also unnatural the grip all around looks like it was 3d printed with like a low budget 3d 3d printer but the gun itself looks fantastic and the grip doesn't look bad it just the seams on it it just seems a little strange to me here's a picture from the other side of it as well and yeah the stippling man i probably i probably would have just used an image for it it looks like you did some sort of like noise thing for it which is smart but it, it looks off a little bit to me now this is still a way better gun than i could ever 3d model so i'm gonna give you an 8 out of 10 it looks fantastic and the only thing that's sticking out to me is that stippling up next we have a very beautiful ladder don't walk under it don't fall off of it and it'll be good this is it's a ladder man i mean what is this what is this on the side it, it's like they added a decal i wish this was bigger bro what is this okay i don't know what the thing on the side is right here like it looks like someone fell off it already and splattered their blood on the side but the ladder looks good all right you can tell it's a ladder looks like it's high grade construction equipment i don't know what this part is though i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 oh my gosh now guys this guy has an absolutely massive horror game asset pack i believe from uh valve or something he told me about it a little while ago and it's crazy what he's been able to do with it guys this picture uh, guys 10 out of 10 this picture 10 out of 10 guys every time he builds something with this pack it just looks incredible and it really makes me forget that it's even on the roblox platform actually i'm quite curious is this this on the roblox platform yeah i think i could see the little studio tab up here <laughs> but they just look so good man and the last picture right here by far my least favorite out of all of them however the glow sticks are a pretty cool touch overall this guy's getting a 10 out of 10 i mean it's incredible and it's we need more stuff like this like let me be 100 percent real right now a lot of you guys watching this channel and the people in the discord probably think hmm bro builder only does low poly and he only likes low poly no if roblox had a bit more support for higher poly stuff and more realistic builds i would love to to learn it and really do it but also roblox is focused around the younger audience who like simple yet bright things and i am here as a a full-time youtuber and full-time roblox developer so it's it's a bit scary taking a huge risk to make a realistic game and spending a ton of time on it for it to flop because the the audience just isn't there so long story short yes i love the realistic builds on roblox and no i don't only want to do low poly for the rest of my development career but for now it's just what makes sense on roblox up next we have this uh this underground basement-esque factory thing the textures look really good the lighting looks really good and it looks like they're about to sell the building man they took all their personals out these lanterns <laughs> 
It's like a lightsaber sitting on the ground. Is this picture the same as the first one? Ooh, some red light. Okay, give a little bit of that darker, scarier vibe. I like it. And then this, man. I think this build absolutely killed it with the textures. There could be some stuff added, maybe door frames or just things to make the edges less sharp. Maybe even trim on the wall. I'm not sure. But overall, I'm going with a 9 out of 10 on this build. Absolutely crazy. Ooh, we missed this picture. That's just, oh, scary, dude. Like, I feel like something's just about to peek around the corner and look at me. Oh, my. Dude, this, this is really nice. Uh, I did a build with one of these a very, very long time ago, but I just pulled mine out of the toolbox. Uh, I did state in the video that it was in the toolbox okay like it's listen i wasn't taking credit anyways this uh this looks really good very very highly detailed oh i wish we could have gotten just a little bit closer to it but it does look very good i think i gotta go with a nine out of ten again dude i was looking for imperfections right like maybe one of these didn't line up that good or maybe one of these it just looks perfect. Like, I can't find anything wrong. So since I can't find anything wrong, I probably should give it a 10 out of 10. But personal preference, it's going to a 9. <laughs> oh, he's back again. And it is for sure in Roblox, dude. He even has the Roblox avatar in here. Super detailed, super incredible. Just very amazing builds. Maybe I should try to get this asset pack and really see if I could do anything even close to this. That is actually interesting. What's more? More important, being better at modeling or being better at placing said models? Hmm, video coming soon. Yeah, dude, this is just crazy. 10 out of 10 again, bro. Like, your builds, bro. It's just, ah, oh, it's just so, so sick. I want to play the game. Link me the game. I demand it. <laughs> 10 out of 10, bro. Okay, so this one, this is my fear. We're gonna go back to dream game talk just for a second, guys, because this is what I don't wanna have to do. Now, it doesn't look bad from afar. As you can see, like, this building looks pretty good, and this one looks all right, too. But when we start getting closer, we start seeing that it's a bit lower resolution. Now, I know why people do this. It's a bit easier to do the builds, and it's way, way, way more optimized. So you can have a massive map, and then just, you know, from afar, everything looks good but the fact that we're gonna be driving through the city in my dream game i want everything to look good up close and that is the problem i'm running into we could do image buildings like these which would be super optimized but not look that great or we could do things that look great but might not be super optimized i think this build overall looks pretty good i'm gonna give it about a six or seven out of ten just because of the low resolution like images but it still looks good overall what what is going on here i can't tell if you finished the render i yeah you did you did this looks really good man now if you guys don't know exactly what's going on i'm guessing this here this little clock tower thing is what was modeled and the rest of this is just like an hdri to supply the lighting for the scene this looks really good though i gotta do it man nope nine out of ten i almost said ten out of ten i gotta go with a nine these windows they just seem kind of projected on i don't know if there's any depth to them there could be but maybe not nine out of ten still a great score great job okay so this is uh and no hate this is what realistic on roblox usually looks like and i don't overly love it, but it also still screams Roblox, which is nice in a nostalgic way. Overall, this build does look very nice, and I both love and hate how you can tell it's Roblox. Like, when I see a realistic build, I want to question, is that actually Roblox? When I see this, it's great, but you can definitely tell it's Roblox, which once again, is it a bad thing? We're going to go with a 7 out of 10. We have a burger and fries, okay? The fries... They look good. They look crispy, nicely seasoned. We got it. The burger, uh, the lettuce is thicker than the burger, okay? What's going on here? I would never eat that. Well, first off, uh, now nah, I'm not even gonna get into it. Y'all would think I'm crazy in the comments. Okay, uh, 1,000 likes. I'll tell you my secret for hamburgers. Anyways, guys, uh, <laughs> the tray looks a little Play-Doh-y. The fries look good. The burger, the buns kind of 
seem like it's two potatoes in the shape of buns. Uh, and the lettuce looks like it would hurt your tongue, like sandpaper. But overall, it still looks good. I'm not trying to just hate on it. I think we're gonna go with a five out of 10 on this one. What is going on here? This looks scary, but beautiful at the same time. Like, I don't know if I should be amazed at the environment, like, oh, so pretty, or, oh my God, there's gonna be something that's gonna jump out at me. I'ma just, I don't know, man, 10 out of 10. There's nothing I would change about it. It looks great. I just don't know what your intent is. All right, we got this massive spaceship thing. The texture seems a bit lower quality on this one as well. Well, I wonder if this was like, <sighs> okay, so I just read the description. It wasn't like a free model or anything. It looks good. The texture, and I don't know if it's the, the angle of the screenshots, but the texture just seems a bit lower quality to me. And I can't really tell what's going on. At first, I would assume that these are windows, but they also look like bricks. So I'm not exactly sure what the goal was. This little ship thing looks really cool as well. All right, we get a nice close up. Now, now this image, it doesn't look as much like bricks. It looks like a sci-fi paneling, which definitely fits a lot better than bricks would. I don't know where I should put this one, man. Like, I really like the build, but I really don't like the textures. I'm gonna go with the 6 out of 10. Listen, quick disclaimer, probably still better ships than I could build. Just saying. This might be the first log cabin I've seen on a Roblox that actually has, like, a realistic wood texture. However, we didn't... We just kind of, like, projected it. And the worst part about this projection is we projected it on the small side of the log. If we look at how crispy the textures are here and here, it's nice, right? But if we look over here, it's very stretched. So basically what happened is we're looking at the cylinder head on and we said to the, uh, to the image, Hey, go on this way, but it has to like stretch all the way to the back of the cylinder. And that's, that is kind of tough, but it looks like you did it right here. So I genuinely don't know. Overall, the build looks pretty cool. Minus the textures just because of this man. That's stretching. I know it would be a little bit less optimized, but if you don't know how to fix the textures, you could scale down the logs in the back and then just duplicate them and paste them side by side. It would still look like one log. Of course it wouldn't be, but it would look like one log and the texture wouldn't be as stretched. I'm gonna go with a five out of 10. We have like a, I'm, I'm perplexed genuinely. So overall, like the windows and the walls make it seem like a more modern house. But then we have like very old appliances. I think this is what it is. What's up with the scaling going on here? Okay, so the this jar is almost as big as the fridge. The chair is taller than the fridge. I, I'm, I think it's the scale. I think that's what's throwing me off real bad. This fridge goes less than halfway up your wall. If you go into your kitchen right now and stand on top of your fridge, you'll probably hit your head on the ceiling. It looks like here you'd be able to just stand up there and have a dance party. The build doesn't look bad. The scaling just really throws it off. Back with a 5 out of 10. This is giving me like a zombies map vibe, dude. Looks really good. Ooh, that looks... Ugh. Just just grimy. <laughs> 9.5 out of 10. The subway. This, this build right here, I think we're gonna go with an 8 out of 10. No way. Is this like a remake of the Crossroads map? So if you guys don't know, I did a video uh, remaking Crossroads, but super realistic with a buddy. And I, I hate to say it, but this one's way better than ours. Ours looks cool in a way different way, but how this guy did it? Bro, the lighting, man. Okay, guys maybe because of nostalgia or maybe because of lighting and slight jealousy. I got to do it, man. I've never done this in rating fan builds history. 15 out of 10. This is sick. This is so sick. It's just sick. I got to add him. Um, add a friend. Yep. Up next, we have this little factory building right here. I hate that you put this or that the bot put this right after that build because it just in comparison, but comparison's not good. Overall, dude, I think this looks really good. We are missing a pole on the top of the fence to kind of hold the links up, but that doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna give this build a 9.5 out of 10. It's still super, super good, really crispy, so I can't really knock it. Wow, this, this is a lot to take in. I feel like the lighting, I can't tell if I absolutely love it or absolutely hate it. Like it has a real nice warm party tone, 
but a weird like old like build style i don't even know how to explain what i'm trying to say the build itself looks great and i don't know if i'm in love or in hate <laughs> with the lighting man so we're gonna give this build a confused seven out of ten like part of me wants to say ten but part of me wants to say three so we're just gonna try to kind of meet in the middle ish all right guys it looks like our last build is sort of a sci-fi tunnel and oh man future lighting is absolutely fantastic you killed it with this build these neons really brought it to life i bet without the neons if you just stick with gray on everything even adding in these red lights it would not have looked that good i have no idea where i was my girlfriend brought me food and i am a happy man okay anyways the neons in this red and green very very nice every time i use red and green in a build it looks like christmas but you absolutely nailed it man i gotta go with a 9.5 out of 10 i think overall this is the highest ratings and rating fan builds history on this channel everybody absolutely killed it if i had to pick a favorite for today it's gotta be this one man the idea the execution the everything it's just amazing and i think what's really Really bringing it all together for me is the lighting man all the beams the lights the ever oh it's so good anyways i do think that's gonna wrap it up for today if you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this please make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later